this is an underwater scene. We're going to start with our first character, which is going to be a seahorse. So we start with an oval. Let her see backwards. Period. Period. Out. Flatten. Up. Around. Dash. Okay. See a little bit of the mouth open. Come out. That's just a letter V. It's like larger V. If you didn't do that, that's okay. That's something uh, I just added for a little bit of depth and dimension. Then I come around. It's the same thing here. right to there. Eyebrows. Well, the background had little crenellations. It's sort of like, um, you know, when you have dragons, you have those little spikes in the back. So what I'm doing is I'm creating these little bumps here. Okay. And then I'm going to just sort of connect them with little curved lines like this. And then chest. One, two, maybe three or four little lines like that. And then I have a little snout there. Okay. So that's our character number one. All right, so character number one is a seahorse. Okay, character number two is a fish. So we've got a letter O. And then a small letter C. Then down, up, dash, down, and in. Here we sort of see a tongue sort of just right in the back on there, okay? Now from this side we come down, we're going to add a dorsal fin, and another one, and then in and out. And here, right to there. In, up to there, add a fin, and then the tail fins. And then if you want, you can shade in a little bit here. Brows and gills. Next one can be a character, but it can also be part of the setting. It can just be part of the background. It depends on whether or not you infuse it with a personality. Now there's jellyfish. Jellyfish can be something they're just sort of seen in the background, or they could also be a character. We're not gonna give ours much of a personification. We're not gonna add eyes and a mouth and such. So we're just gonna go with the, the basic shapes. Oh, 
and then you just add these. And then polka dots or stripes, it's up to you. All right, usually you add more than one of them, but you could also make them different shapes or sizes and designs. Notice sort of the squiggly line that I'm drawing. And you can add one more anywhere on the page. I'm going to add one more way over in this corner here. I think over here I'm going to add a, a snail. So I'm going to start with the eyes on the snail. down and flatten that out. I know that looks a little weird right now, but remember we're going to add the shell on top of that. Now once we have that sort of the the rim of the shell will just come in and then draw a spiral like that. Now we're going to add a bit more of the setting. We're going to add some foreground. Things that might be in the foreground, things that are foreground or in front of the action. They're in front of that plane. So you might have some sort of seaweed sticking up. Okay. Uh, you might have some coral. Coral's fun to draw because it's just sort of this real free-flowing sort of shape like this. And then what you do is you just go back in and you add some texture. Um, little spots like this that form holes. And then maybe a little shading here and there. Now we've got this snail sort of just floating in the air. We don't have the snail, the, these other creatures, they can be floating. But our snail, we don't want to have floating. We want to have it sort of sitting on a, we're going to have it on a rock. Okay, so we just throw a little rock there, and then we could add maybe a, uh, like a sponge. Again, some seaweed. Maybe we've got another character down here, but we don't quite see all of them. We just sort of see part of 
part of them poking up is going to be an octopus. So then we're just going to add some of the legs sort of sticking up. And you don't see all of them, but it's up to a point and down. Maybe there's another couple one over here. There's some that sort of stick up behind him. There's another one back here. Flesh. Then we add a little bit more dimension to that. We just draw a line like this, another one here, maybe here, here, and then that's where we put the little suction cups. smaller fish over here. And then just to show it's underwater, we add some air bubbles here and there, just sort of I forgot some eyebrows maybe on the snail if you want to. And there you go. There is your under the water scene. Sign your name, take pride in your work.